A fish restoration project is underway in Howard. That's right. Crews were busy today hammering away at uh, this dam that is in Duck Creek. Now, it's happening at Brown County's Pamperin Park just off of Highway 29. Officials with the Oneida Tribe led project say they hope once the barriers are gone that the fish will be able to return to their habitat upstream. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has the story. It was a noisy morning at Pamperin Park. He's just blasting that concrete out. They're just demoing the concrete. This 80 year old low head dam was on borrowed time. It looks good. They're moving quick. We thought they would. Officials hope to remove two dams here and allow Duck Creek to flow like it did before the barriers were built. We're hoping, you know, uh, sport fish like northern pike will be able to get up and access the system and have a lot more spawning area. Pao Chua Kong and his friends fish this spot every season. If they can have this done perfectly, you know, it's it more natural, you know, fish come through, like a lot of game fish, you know, during the season where like northerns and all that fish comes out. Dennis Gavart lives just upstream. In the springtime, the ice backs up once in a while above the bridge and with the water lower to begin with, it, it should flow through the river better. But not everyone is happy to see these dams go. We talked to one person off camera who said getting rid of these barriers would compromise not only the character of this park, but a pretty good fishing spot as well. Fish managers say that is a concern. They will be back here in the spring. We'll be doing upstream monitoring sites, um, checking to see if pike are successfully spawning upstream in the marshes uh, that connect to Duck Creek. The Oneida Nation is leading this joint venture made up of federal, state, and local agencies. The $119,000 project is funded primarily through federal grants. In Howard, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Now that project will be continuing next week. Crews are expected to make improvements to a third dam that's located at the Oneida Golf and Riding Country Club.